think I'm gonna wear this princess costume everywhere I go today. I bet people will think I'm crazy, but it'll be so much fun. Well, hello. It's Cinderella here, and I'm gonna show you how to get my fabulous look. If you go to my blog, and I'll put the link right up there, I will show you where you can get my fabulous necklace, this beautiful dress, this little, well, not really the headband, I just got that at the hair store, this wig, which took me a lot of work to try to shape into place so it looked like my real hairdo. But you can go there and see, and I'll show you how to get this wonderful cartoon look. So come with me and follow along on this wonderful adventure of getting all Cinderella pretty. Are you ready? Let's go. Are you ready to come to the School of Cinderella Makeup? The first thing we need to do is we want to make sure that our skin looks kind of like a cartoon. So very flat and one color. This is very heavy makeup. I actually used a concealer on my face instead of a foundation. I used this Lee Wadier concealer wheel and I mixed these two colors to make my foundation all over. You always want to make sure that you go over your ears and down your neck as well so it matches. I also used this L'Oreal True Match. Um, I think it was in porcelain is the one that I used, and I spread it all over my neck. She didn't have any blush or anything. It was just eye makeup, some lashes, eyebrows, and a very peachy brown look, which I will show you how to do. Are you ready? Let's go! I'm just going to warn you that in a couple seconds you're going to see me without any makeup on. It's kind of scary looking, so now that you're warned, you won't be frightened. Are you ready? Let's go! So you just need a really light nude colored eyeshadow. I'm going to use Brulee from MAC. Any light color will do. Even your face powder that matches the same color will even work. Just go from the lash line all the way up to the brows. And we're done. We want to lighten the lower rims of the eyes so you can use a white eyeliner underneath here and fill this in. After you've lined the waterline with white, I'm going to take just a soft brown. I'm going to use cork from MAC and just gently go right underneath the lash line with that soft brown. So I line one eye with a black cream liner. You can also use a liquid liner, liquid lining pen. I'm going to use Aqua Black for Makeup Forever and an angled brush. And you're just going to draw this line up and then you're going to hold the eye taut and you want this not to swoop down. You want it to go straight across and elongate a little bit past where your lashes would go. Then you always want to go back over it with a black eyeshadow. I'm using Carbon for MAC and again an angled brush. And you're just going to go right along where you put, this is going to lock the color in place so it won't smear and it will fix any little blurry, fuzzy, bumpy lines you may have made lining. It'll make them look perfectly straight. Now before we do her lashes, I'm going to do her eyebrows. I'm going to use a medium kind of taupey brown. This is Coquette from MAC. Ugh, look at my ugly fingernail. Don't look at it, I mean, huh? <laughs> and an angled brush, and I'm going to draw her eyebrows on because they were kind of in a long, sweeping shape. So we're going to go along the tops, and we're going to gently sweep down. We're not going to, um, we're going to make this part look kind of rounded. So I'm just going to stick to the top of the eyebrow and then curve this down real thin and I'm going to go a little bit past where my actual eyebrows go. Just curve this really nicely around. And then we'll do the other eye. So now we're going to glue the lashes on. This is the fun part. You can use any um, really fun kind of long ones. I'm going to use, these are from Urban Decay. They're called uh, tease, that's totally upside down, but they just kind of elongate the outer corners. They're just like a little half wispy one. So we're going to take that, our glue, put a thin little bead right along here. You can watch my video for other tips and tricks on how to get your lashes to stand, but I'm just going to show you real fast. 
And I'm just going to lay this down right on top of my lashes. Got to move him over a little. And then just press them down together like that. Look at this pretty color of the glue. Can you see that? It like glows blue, just like Cinderella's dress. And we're going to lay him onto the outer edge. And then press him down. Whoa, stay there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go do that. Lashes are tricky to put on until you play around. Then just push him up. We want him to go up, not all the way down, because we want this to look lifted. So I'm just going to press that down. Right there. Ooh la la. So now for her lips, they were kind of like peachy brownish pink. I'm going to use, this is from Tarte. This is exposed. It's like a matte lip stain. And I really like it, so I'm going to apply this all over. It's minty. Now I'm going to take kind of a brown lip liner. You could, there's a brown lip liner from NYX. You can use Cork or one of those from MAC. This is Aqua Lip from Makeup Forever in 7C. And I'm just going to do the outside rim of her lips, which is how she looks in the cartoon. And you want to make sure you round out these edges. You don't want them sharp peaks because hers were very softly rounded. Like that. And you want that line to be there so it looks like a cartoon, because her look was very cartoon. There's no blush or anything. Her skin was just all one beautiful color. Now we'll do the wig and I will show you the rest of our look. And this is how my wig came before I pinned it up. Kind of a little bit scary. And Cinderella's hair was always pinned up. So I just took bobby pins and pinned all of this up. Do you like it? I don't know why I think it's so funny to take my wig off and see my dark hair. <laughs> After you've seen the blonde hair, it looks so crazy. Look how different that is. It looks scarier. <laughs> Bye! I hope you had fun watching this Cinderella look. It was so much fun to do. It makes me just want to do all the princesses. And it actually makes me want to dress like this and talk like this and go everywhere in the world in princess style. I hope you had fun. Comment below on other looks you want to see or even tell me if you like this. You can also favorite this video so you can save it and watch it again and again if you'd like. Have a wonderful day and may all your dreams come true. It's one of my favorite places on earth. When I was little, I thought it would be fun to live there. And then later, when I moved to L.A. to start doing makeup in Hollywood, um, before my career took off, I thought I would want to be a princess at Disneyland. They had auditions, and I don't remember why I couldn't go that day, but I thought that would be one of the most fun jobs to be a princess at Disneyland. To say hello and wave and get to dress up like a real princess and get to take pictures with little girls and sign their little autograph books, I thought that'd be so fun. I still think I should have gone to those auditions and tried it anyway. Hmm. Maybe when I get older, I'll see if they need an old princess. Favorite songs of all time. Even sometimes just the lyrics are wonderful to hear. A dream is a wish your heart makes. A dream is a wish your heart makes When you're fast asleep In dreams you lose your heartaches Whatever you wish for you keep Have faith in your dreams and someday Your rainbow will come smiling through No matter how your heart is grieving If you keep on believing the dream that you wish will come true. No matter how your day has been, if it's been sad or unhappy, know that when you go to sleep you can lose all of your heartaches and those wonderful dreams. Keep believing in them and someday they will come true.